Howdy folks, I'm Kyle Smenningson. I'm going to be unboxing a brand new iPad, an iPad case. Uh, we braved the elements this morning at 8.30 in the uh, Santa Barbara iPad line. Uh, of course, we made reservations, so we got first pick. This is a 32 gigabyte iPad. As you know, of course, the 3G model will not be available until later this month, so this one will connect up via Wi-Fi. So, let's get to it. Let's get it all unboxed and see what we've got. It's actually, uh... It's not too heavy. Uh, definitely heavier than a Kindle, uh, because of course that's the, the big thing they are comparing it to. Probably about a pound, uh, pound and a half, maybe. I think we need to get it activated. Let's go plug it into uh, iTunes and get started. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in here with our handy dandy iPad sync cable. Now, is that the same cable that the iPhone It got? is indeed the same exact cable. And we've got the brand new version of iTunes here, ready to get it all set up. And there it is. Look at that screen. Sync, first sync in progress. Getting it all activated so we can actually use the darn thing. But that's how easy it is. All you gotta do is plug it into iTunes. Of course, you gotta make sure that you have the newest version of iTunes to be able to successfully activate it. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock, and there it is. Now, one of the things that I, I noticed right away about the iPad that is different from the iPod Touch and the iPhone is that when you are on the home screen, you can actually rotate it and get a landscape view for all of your icons, which is pretty neat. And of course, you have the, the standard search, and look at that keyboard. The keyboard is rendered beautifully. But now, let's go ahead and back out and let's, let's start having fun with the thing. Um, one other fantastic feature I noticed right away was on the side here, there's a little slider switch which actually allows you to lock it in portrait or landscape mode. So if you're reading the newspaper, for example, and you don't want it to accidentally switch to landscape mode, it's now locked. So if I move it, it is still stuck in portrait. And it works in both ways. So if I, let's go ahead and unlock it. Oh, not the volume. So let's put it back in the landscape. And then if we lock it again, now it's locked in landscape mode and can't escape from landscape. Beautiful, responsive. Let's go to settings just to see what we have here. Settings menu is very, very similar actually to the, iP um, the iPod Touch and the iPhone, uh, though you do have all of the settings pop up immediately upon tapping the specific setting. So what we want to do is we actually want to add a mobile me account. And of course, through Mail Contacts calendars, you can go to Add Account. And then just like the iPod Touch and the iPhone, you have a, a very familiar interface to add at uh, email accounts and, of course, Microsoft Exchange and MobileMe and Gmail being the most popular there. Right. Let's take a look at YouTube. Let's see what's, uh, what are some popular... Wow. Nice that loaded so quickly and that was a really nice animation. All right, Lego Matrix, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is awesome. Kennedy, help. All right, I think we're done with that, but oh man. This is such a beautiful interface. And of course, we've got to take a look at Safari because web browsing is so important. That looks really nice. Hey, who's that? Hey, that looks like me. Who's that handsome devil? 
so fast. I mean, I don't think uh, Steve Jobs was kidding when he said that this is going to be a revolutionary new way to browse the web and do, do everything. It's just, it's just really an outstanding device thus far. Really responsive. Um, we've been using it now for about uh, 30 minutes or so, and it's down to 95% battery. Pretty good battery life. Of course, we've got our awesome little uh, blog there. Oh, man. That was gorgeous. And there we are. Now it looks like it's a story about the iPad. Oh, the iPad first look, are you in? We want to know. I think that's it, folks. Good first look at Apple's brand new tablet, the iPad. And that is beautiful. Transitions are beautiful, animations are gorgeous. I mean, this is a really polished device, really beautiful.